hey guys welcome back to java collections framework series so i am in eclipse id we have java collections framework project in eclipse id let's go ahead and let's create a new package so we are going to create a lots of examples on link list so let's go ahead and let's create a separate package for it let's say the package name is link list hit finish now let's go ahead and let's quickly create a class let's give name to the class like create link list example something like this and choose public static void main method and hit finish great now i am going to demonstrate few methods of link list class like add method to add a new element to the link list and we have one more overloaded add method to add a new element to specific position so it takes uh, you know this location for example let's say we want to add element at location 2 and then element name okay and one more method is add post and add lost so look at here the important point is add post and add lost so these are the methods which comes from dq interface so as i mentioned in previous video link list implements list interface as well as dq interface and add post and add lost methods comes from dq interface okay great let me quickly create a link list instance let's say link list and just pass string as a type and let's give reference variable name as brutes and new and then link list Now let's go ahead and let's quickly add some proofs to the list. Proofs and then use add method. So look at here there are overloaded add methods. I am going to use first one and let's quickly add a element that is banana. And let's quickly add a few more elements to the linked list. Let's say apple and mango. Okay. Now what I will do, I will simply print this list to the console. Let's run the program and let's see the output. Yeah, here we go. We have three elements in the linked list. Now let's see how to add an element at a specific position in linked list. Proofs and then call add method so look at here we are going to use second add method and we're going to pass index so we are going to add a new element at index 2 let's give element name like watermelon let's go ahead and let's print this list to the console system.out.println and let's say after adding watermelon how the list looks like roots and let's go ahead and let's run the program yeah here we go so look at here the water million element is added to the link list at position 2 now let's see how to add element at the beginning of the link list okay adding element at the beginning of the linked list let's call our puts list and then call add post method okay so look at here add post method it inserts the specified element at the beginning of the list okay let's go ahead and let's call this method and look at here add post method is in dq interface not in a list interface okay great just give a element name as strawberry 
let's go ahead and let's print the list let's say after adding strawberry however list looks like let's go ahead and let's run the program yeah here we go strawberry is added at the beginning of the linked list okay great so this is how we add element at the beginning of the linked list using add first method now let's see how to add element at the end of the linked list adding element at the at the end of the linked list let's call fruits and then call add last method so look at here add last method is present in the queue interface all right guys let's go ahead and let's add an element at the end of the linked list let's say orange and let's go ahead and let's print the list system dot out dot print ln after adding orange let's run the program and let's see how the list how the output looks like yeah here we go orange is added at the end of the list all right great all right guys this is example to demonstrate the usage of add add first add lost methods okay i hope you understood how to act, how to create a linked list and how to add elements to the linked list all right guys i will see you in the next video with another example on linked list class